Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, a little bit of a different video today, a very exciting video nonetheless. Uh, in the gameplay you're watching in the background as well, this gameplay I've literally just got on Shoot House, I get around 70 kills, it's a very decent gameplay, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. But we're not here to talk about this gameplay today, we're here to talk about Call of Duty 2020, the year, this year's Call of Duty, what it's going to be like. But before we do get into the exciting news that has been released over on Twitter, make sure you do hit that like button, smash that subscribe button as well. And make sure you are following me on my Instagram and Twitter, links to them are in the description. But anyway, Call of Duty news, over though as known as Charlie Intel tweeted out on Twitter just the other day uh, about Call of Duty 2020 and that it won't be a Black Ops title and it might be called... COD Vietnam, uh, so this suggests it's going to be set way back in the day, similar to a World at War vibe, which for me I think could work one or two ways, it's either going to be really good or really really awful, but we know, um, I do believe, I could be wrong, but back in Black Ops 4 we did have the news as well that was it Sledgehammer Games won't be working on this Call of Duty, uh, apparently they've been axed from Activision, not 100% on that one, or could be working alongside Treyarch on this one, I'm not 100%, I can't remember exactly what it was said. All I know is Treyarch had to do this one and they only had a year to do it in. Uh, so, or two years, let's say. Um, so it was very, very rushed. Uh, they started towards the end of Black Ops 4, so sort of like a year and a half. Uh, so it was rushed. Uh, well, could have possibly been rushed, is what I was talking about back in, uh, at the time uh, when that news was released, that the controversy behind it, if it was going to be a decent game or not, because of the time frame they had to do it in. But knowing Treyarch, hopefully it will be very good. But new internet rumours have come out about the upcoming Call of Duty 2020 title and this time it looks like the game will be connected to the Black Ops universe so it will still be connected similar to how Modern Warfare is connected to the Modern Warfare series but doesn't directly follow on. Uh, but it will not be actually caught, not include Black Ops in the title. Um, so kind of interesting, you know. Um, and it suggests that it's going to be called, called Cod Vietnam or this rumoured as well it could be Cold War something along them lines so it's set in that time frame so it's very very back in the day um, there was a source on Twitter as well from Jason Schreira I'm not entirely sure how that is and I definitely pronounced his name wrong uh, but he got asked the question what do you think then and Vietnam title and he just replied saying yeah Cold War slash Vietnam I believe so this uh, it's hopefully a reliable source anyway uh, we know that some studies have been working in Cold War editions of Call of Duty and the idea of including a title set on the Vietnam War has been there for many years now, which it has, it was thought to be, when Black Ops 4 was going to come out, there was a lot of rumours that it could be going back uh, to the, you know, World War ages before that release and obviously we didn't, we got Black Ops 4 futuristic again. Um, so obviously this is a year where it is going to be going back. Per me personally, I've not enjoyed the... Call of Duty's that have been way back in the day. Black Ops 1 was good. That was the only good one. I hated World at War. And I definitely didn't like World War 2. I didn't even buy World War 2 personally. I never actually played that game. Um, looking back, I wish I did. But because of what I'd heard from friends and other people, I just didn't end up picking it up. And I played Black Ops 3 for two years. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it. That was when I was first starting my channel though. So I'm sure if I was doing, doing it now, full on like I am now, uh, I definitely would have picked it up. But we have another tweet from that John Schreer, or whatever his name is. Uh, somebody uh, asked him, do you think, slash no, if it's still going to be part of the Black Ops series then? And he replied saying, I'm not a COD person, so I actually don't actually know who this guy is. Um, I'm not a COD person, so I don't know anything about the law, shenanigans, or what it really means to be a Black Ops game. Uh, but one title I've heard thrown around a couple of times is just COD Vietnam. As far as I know, it's part of the Black Ops series, though, not sure. So the information we've got at the minute isn't actually 100% confirmed, which is unfortunate. Uh, we usually do get some kind of um, confirmed news around May time, um, which is obviously next month. So in the next couple of weeks, we should be getting some solid uh, leaks, 100% true. Um, but yeah, apparently it's going to be presenting some of the classic game characters in the action inside the Vietnam War. Voice actors of Black Ops characters have been reported that they are not working in anything with Activision right now. Um, which is the main flaw of the theory because if the game is going to present the same characters, they should be using the same actors as in development. So this is obviously going to be more campaign side of things, which I'm not too fussed about. But if you are, uh, they could see some classic characters like Woods maybe or... 
Reznov uh, from way back, he wasn't actually in Black Ops 1. I'm not sure if he was, in, I think he was in Black Ops 2 as well. Um, obviously, I knew he was in World of War. So he could be back, but obviously not have the same voice, which is a shame because I think Reznov is such an iconic character. He was my favourite character from World of War, that's for sure. And the next Call of Duty is planned to be launched this year, obviously. But the global health emergency should force Activision to postpone it until 2021. This can affect Activision's plans for the game because it is almost sure that it will be one of the launch titles of the next generation consoles. Obviously we have the release of the PS5 at the end of this year and the Xbox X I think it's called. Um, so this is going to be on them. Uh, that could possibly, well I know obviously we've got the health thing going off right now which is going to postpone it. But that could also be another reason why they're postponing it to make sure it's released straight on that. Uh, I'd be interested to see if they release it on PS4 then they can transfer it over to PS5 uh, which was similar to what happened with uh, Ghosts on the Xbox 360 and obviously PS3 to the next gen consoles. I'll be interested to see if that happens and if you ask me I think the PS5, PS4 lifetime has just flown by. It feels two minutes since it came out to be honest for me uh, personally <clears throat> and I even got it at release so uh, I've had it all that time and I still feel like I've not had it long enough for a new console but it'll be interesting to see what it's like on next gen uh, but a few things I would like to see in the new game multiplayer wise that's I don't like I did haven't liked in Modern Warfare and which I still hate and I've said it from the very start the way the minimap works doesn't work the same we've still we've got the minimap which helps by all means but it doesn't work the way it should where if someone's firing without a suppressor and they show up on the minimap, that should still be a thing. Uh, but unfortunately it is not. Um, I would also like to see, which I've missed this year a lot, more than anything, Prestigian. Oh my god, Prestigian's got to be in the game for me, personally. 10 Prestigians in a level 1000. Uh, I'm yet to reach level 1000 and I wanted to make Modern Warfare the year I did it. Obviously that didn't even go to that. Obviously hasn't gone to plan. I think the uh, office rank challenges is a very good way. The se the seasons are very good, um, and by all means I think they should still do that office rank challenges along with seasons. Um, but not but make sure you include prestige in at the same time. So obviously it's sort of two separate things. Whereas you get to one fifty five, you're stuck there. Then you get D ranked all the way back to fifty five. The next season you do it again. For me it's just sort of really really demotivating to play. Uh, rank, it just I'm not bothered what rank I am, whereas before when I try and be the highest rank I can possibly be and get there as quickly as I can. Whereas this game, there's really no point on uh, trying to get to 155 as fast as you can because I mean, you've got to level up 100 times in what, 60 days, 50 days, something like that, and it's really not hard at all. Uh, it's good for, you know, allegedly players who don't play every single day and maybe have an hour or so a day. Um, but you know, for some people who want to grind the game, I don't think it's great at all. And I'm, obviously, I think a lot of people have missed Prestige personally. Um, but yeah, another thing which I've uh, seen worrying about the uh, Vietnam sort of scenario is that the weapons around that era, so same as World World, War, World at War and World War Two, the guns are sit pretty bleak, very boring. Uh, they all look the same. They all sound the same. You know, it, it they didn't have a w wide variety of weapons. Um, Hopefully they do on this game. Hopefully there are some interesting weapons, um, but I'm definitely excited to see what it's going to be like. And I'd love to know what you guys think it's going to be like as well. So you know, make sure you drop it in the comments below what you think the next COD is going to be. Very interesting news we've received. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this gameplay. Um, but yeah, there's pretty much nothing else to talk about as of yet. But as soon as we do hear anything, I'll make sure I do upload it as soon as I do uh, find out about the news. So make sure you are subscribed and make sure you've got bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on that video and any other video I do upload. So make sure you are hitting that bell. Make sure you're smashing the like button. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. Links to them in the description to make sure you stay up to date with any other news that's going off. Uh, they'll definitely be on there first before it's on the channel uh, and when videos do go live as well. So definitely make sure you are following both of them, or one of them. It's entirely up to you. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys on the next one.